Devils Supernatural entities known for causing great misfortune upon humanity. These chaotic forces often prey upon negative human desires and flaws, using their supernatural abilities to destroy God's creations. Oftentimes, devils take on many names and forms, depending on which mythology you're sourcing from. From Beelzebub to Nesostophile to a black goat and even a dragon, devils have taken on many forms throughout history, amplifying their ever-changing nature and almost omnipresent influence on humanity. However, the many forms I've mentioned are purely hypothetical. Devils have never truly had a definitive appearance or even detailed descriptions of them in biblical text. As such, they lend themselves to artistic interpretations. Some of these interpretations of devils take on incredibly unique, creative, and sometimes adult forms. This is especially true if these devils exist in a much more fantastical and action-packed reality. The manga series Chainsaw Man, created by Tatsuki Fujimoto, contains one of the most unique interpretations of devils I've seen in fiction. Unlike most devils who usually maintain some aspect of a devil's design language, such as horns or a tail, devils in the world of Chainsaw Man all have incredibly unique designs. Their designs manifest from humanity's collective fears. As such, devils within this world look incredibly disturbing and never share any design similarities. However, the designs of the devils are of course not the only thing that makes them so unique. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at the aspects that makes these creatures so distinct. This is Chainsaw Man, Devils Explained. Before we start, I need to inform you that this video contains massive spoilers for Chainsaw Man, so continue at your own discretion. Anyways, let's get started. Every devil in the world of Chainsaw Man is born in a dimension called Hell. However, unlike its biblical counterpart, Hell in this world is a serene grassy landscape filled with fields of flowers and rolling hills. The one noticeable and defining aspect of this plane of existence is the millions upon millions of doors littering the skies. Now, where exactly these doors lead is unknown. However, it's not far-fetched to believe that each door leads to a different level of hell, which implies that hell is a massive labyrinth of interconnecting doorways and dimensions. Now, as I've stated before, most devils originate from this dimension, and it's safe to assume that this is where they first manifest. So how does one enter this plane of existence to begin with? Well, luckily for us, Chainsaw Man presents us with two different methods. The first method can only be used by devils, and it's the one aspect of their kind that makes them a constant looming threat no matter how many times you kill them. Let me explain. You see, devils are essentially trapped in an endless cycle of death and rebirth. If a devil dies on earth, they'll be reborn back in hell, and if a devil dies in hell, they'll be reborn back on earth albeit with their memories completely wiped. Devils are essentially immortal, since they're stuck in an endless state of reincarnation. The only way to stop this process is through using the Chainsaw Devil, who has the ability to erase a devil's name from existence by consuming them, effectively stopping them from being reborn ever again. Don't worry, if you don't understand, I'll go more in depth later in the video. Now, the second way to enter Hell is through the use of the Hell Devil, and any human or devil can enter Hell using this method. The Hell Devil sort of acts like a bridge or gateway between the two dimensions. By presenting sacrifices to it, it will either transport you to Hell or Earth. However, this method is not ideal, because again, you will need to sacrifice people's lives for essentially a one-way trip. Now, enough about the Devil's home. What about the inhabitants themselves? Devils are supernatural beings born from human emotion, specifically our fears. You see, whenever a person on earth fears anything, a devil relating to that fear will manifest in hell. For example, let's say I'm afraid of dogs. Well then a dog devil will now form in hell, and depending on how many people share the collective fear of the same thing, that devil will now increase in strength and power. The gun devil, for example, is one of the most powerful devils on earth. This is due to the fact that many people have an immediate fear of firearms. 
A devil's name and powers correlates to the fear they're based off of. A devil born from the fear of spiders will be named the spider devil and will of course have spider based abilities. A devil born from the fear of grapes will be named the grape devil and will have grape based powers. Now remember what I said before about the chainsaw devil's abilities. If he were to consume any of the devils I've mentioned before, then the fears those devils were based off of will be erased from existence. So if he were to consume the grape devil, then grapes will no longer exist on earth. I know, that's super overpowered but also kinda cool. Most devils gain their energy by feeding off the blood of humans and other devils. Naturally, this makes them incredibly hostile and unpredictable. Blood for devils is basically like their fuel source, like how a car runs off oil. In order for a devil to use up one of their special abilities, they need to use up a portion of their blood. Without enough blood, they virtually become powerless. Consuming blood also allows a devil to heal their injuries no matter how severe, and the more blood they consume, the more they grow in power. It's worth noting that not all devils require blood for fuel. Some devils, which I'll call contract devils, gain power through making contracts with humans. Oftentimes, these contracts results in the devil feeding off its human host as payment for borrowing its power and assistance. For example, the ghost devil requires the user to sacrifice a part of their body so they can summon its ghost arms. The more arms you want to summon, the more of your body you have to sacrifice. Another example of a contract devil is the future devil, who allows you to see into the future in exchange for something like half your lifespan, sense of taste, or your eyes. There are also devils called primal devils, which are said to be the most powerful devils in the world of Chainsaw Man. So destructive in fact, that they've never died in hell. This is due to the fact that primal devils embody common fears that a majority of humans share. For example, there's most likely a heights devil born from humans fear of high altitudes. As the name suggests, primal devils embody the most primal fears that humans possess. The Darkness Devil, for example, represents, well, the fear of the unknown and darkness. The idea that our minds can conjure the most despicable and grotesque evils, especially when we look into an abyss of darkness, where we can never truly know what's on the other side. On the weaker side of the devil hierarchy exists the fiends or devilmen. As a last ditch effort to save their lives, some devils decide to reanimate a human corpse and control it. Oftentimes, devilmen are a lot weaker than their devil counterparts and overall possess less abilities than before. Since they've taken over the body of a dead human, they maintain some memories of their host. Sometimes the memories of the devil and the human mix, causing them to have strange and mixed personalities. Although the violence devil is supposed to be violent and cruel, he's mostly a nice and peaceful person because of the personality of the body he inhabits. Most devilmen can be identified from their distinct head, which usually maintains features of their devil forms, such as horns or a shark head. Devilmen can still heal their injuries through drinking blood, and some can temporarily revert to their original forms. Although it's worth noting that devilmen are unable to make contracts with other devils, and they can still die if their bodies are damaged enough. But let's say you wanted the powers of a devil. But you didn't want to be snacked on by one every time you use their power, and you would rather not feed on their flesh. Well, you're in luck, because there is an alternative way. Hybrid devils are humans who have fused with a devil. The host still has control over their bodies, but they also have all the benefits a devil provides, except for being able to reincarnate. Hybrid devils are able to retain all their memories and full control over their bodies. As for the devil itself, it's typically embedded somewhere inside the host, with a part of their bodies protruding outwards. These devils are catalysts for the humans to transform, often taking the form of triggers. Parts of the devil's body that when interacted with activates the transformation. For Denji, it's pulling the string out of his chest, which causes his head to split open, replacing it with the head of the chainsaw devil and causing chainsaws to appear on his arms. For Rize, it's the pin lodged into her neck, which when pulled blows it off and replaces it with the head of the bomb devil. 
Now, not all devils look strange and demonic. A select few of them take on more human-like appearances, which in general makes it harder to tell them apart from a regular human. Humanoid-looking devils are generally nicer towards humans, and some choose to not harm them at all. Fun fact, whenever a devil eats the flesh of an even stronger devil, they tend to gain more power. However, they can revert to their original state if the piece of the stronger devil is removed. Chainsaw Man is a perfect example of how you take real-world mythological creatures and alter them into new unique entities. This change is so effective because Chainsaw Man as a series is incredibly inventive thanks to Fujimoto's eyes for creativity. I cannot wait to see the plethora of new devils in Chainsaw Man Part 2 and the fan favorite devils that are sure to make their return.